serious? Dit was nie so lekker nie. I couldn't even go out to go eat at my favorite restaurants. Ach nee, maar het klink vir my asof jy baie hou van uit jy. Baie, I like the succulent juices mm, and the food. Very nice. So, wat is jou ginsling takeaway plek? Uh, KFC and McDonald's. Hmm, so dit klink vir my asof jy dalk baie van die restaurante ken. As ek vir jou a triek vraag vraag, denk jy jy sal dit kan recht kry? Ja, ek denk so. Ek denk ons doen die challenge sits in jou en die maats. Ek gaan vir jou vraag die vraag en dan kyk ons of jy dit kan recht kry. Maats, kyk of jy die voorsia dit kan recht kry. Ja, bring it on. Jy recht sê ja? Ja. Kyk, kom ons doen die makkelijke ene. Dit rein met cheers. Ah, ek denk steers. Ah, dit was te makkelijk. Nee, wacht, kom ons raal, die nie moeilikker ene. Hierdie ene, Hierdie mense maak baie snokse advertenties. Ek denk van chicken licken? Nee, sê chicken licken nie, maar dit is baie die selfde as chicken licken. Nando's? Ja, wel dan, goeie werk sê ja. Ok, nog ene. Hierdie mense het een baie ou oom op hulle icon. Is dit nie Joshua Dorney? Sê ja, Joshua Dorney is nie een eetplek nie. O, skies, ehm... Wat is die plek? KFC? Jy was vir ons daarom daai en baie makkelijk in te antwoord, want is jy van jou beginsteling onthou? Ek het gevergeerd. Is ok. Kom ons kyk of ons jou nog ene kan vraag. By hierdie plek kan jy soveel cool drank drink as wat jy wil. Ah, die ene is die beste ene. Burger King. Mooi, wel dan sê jy, mos het jy dit draag gekry. Kai, hierdie ouwens slogan is I'm loving it. Ba, 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 McDonald's. Ja, well done. Ja, want jy gaan by McDonald's nie, jy is voorstel om te ken. Maar so gepraat van McDonald's, ek denk ons moet nog een doen, maar hierdie ene gaan die Afrikaanse maats baie goed ken. Ek wil dat jy om gaan ken. Is jy recht vir hom? Ja. Dis een liekie. So, hy gaan so. McDonald's, McDonald's, Kentucky Fried Chicken en a... Romans. Romans? Dit pas nie eers in die sendekie nie. Au. Maar ok, dis baie die selfde as Romans. Ok, so onthou dit, is jy recht, McDonald's, McDonald's, geen sakkie fried chicken en het? Debonairs. Hmm, jy is op die rechte pak, maar dit is nie daai ene nie, dink nog bykie verder, so hulle maak die selfde goed is. Ok, laatste kans, strike 3 en jy is uit, he? Ja. Ok, gaan ons, McDonald's, McDonald's, geen sakkie fried chicken en het? Pizza Hut! Mooi, see ya! So Sia, ek het by jou sissie gehoor dat jy radig baie van McDonald's hou, voordat ek nog vandag met jou gepraat het. So ek het vir jou verrassing gebroek! Wai! Well, I really like McDonald's, especially the ones with the toys inside, so... So okay, what is that now? Wat is die ding nou? Sorry Sia, ek wou eindelijk vir jou net vandag iets die leer. So dit is nou iets wat ek wil hee, dit met jou help om iets te onthou. So you want me to remember the worst happy meal take out ever? Nee Sia, nie eindelijk nie, maar ek is seker jy gaan vandag sy bybel story onthou, elke keer as jy een happy meal sien. But I don't understand how this connects with our story. Wel, maas, kom ons kyk of jylle kan uitveer hoe pas McDonald's en vandagse bybelstory by mekaar. Kom ons kyk of jylle slim is. The Faithful Hall of Fame, Moses. This is Moses, who was an Israelite born in Egypt in a time when Israelite boys were not supposed to live. Moses, however, grew up in the palace of the Pharaoh, the very man who was enslaving the Israelite people. When Moses grew up, he made a big mistake and fled Egypt to live with the Midianites. But God called Moses back to Egypt to deliver his people with the help of his brother Aaron. After God showed his miraculous power in Egypt, he led the Israelites through the Red Sea and towards the Promised Land. They followed God who showed himself as a cloud by day and fire by night. As God led them through the wilderness, the Israelites became thirsty and hungry. 
They complained to Moses and Aaron and said, if only we had died in Egypt. God said to Moses that he would provide for his people. Hey! Each morning they awoke and found manna for the day. What's that? And each night God gave them meat. <laughs> the people were still thirsty and they were mad at Moses saying, did you bring us out here to die of thirst? Yeah. So Moses cried out to God, and God told Moses to strike a rock, and water came flowing out of it for the people to drink. And so the Lord provided for his people's needs. After traveling in the desert for three months, they came to Mount Sinai, and God called Moses from the top of the mountain. God spoke to Moses there of the future of his people and reminded him of the miracles of the past. After three days, there was thunder and lightning as a thick cloud covered the mountain. The people heard a loud trumpet blast. And Moses led people to the foot of the mountain to meet with God. God told them how his people were to live and how they were to honor him and respect each other. The Israelites had seen for themselves that God had spoken to Moses from heaven. These rules that God told them are called the Ten Commandments. And the Israelites feared God, for his mighty power had brought them out of slavery and provided for them in the desert. Music, yeah, it was done now. So it's like when God told the Israelites to leave Egypt as fast as they can, that they won't even have enough time for their bread to rise. So actually, the bread is actually like fast food, like the one you got me. Ja, is helemaal rachs, ja. En hierdie was van ons stel om een van die gelukkigste dag van hulle leven te wees. Want hulle was vir so lang in die Egypte vastgevang as slawe, Toe het God vir hulle gesê, maar ek gaan julle vry maak, ek gaan vir julle na een nieuwe land te vat. So dit was een baie happy day, so dit is waar happy en fast food by mekaar kom, happy fast food meal! O, ek verstaan baie beter nou, but I think for them it might have been very scary, for the fact that there was so many plagues and deaths happening, and I'm sure they're wondering, Wat is Godse plan oor ons lewe? Ja, ek dink ook hulle het gewonder, wat is Godse plan en al hierdie goed is? Maar weet julle wat, Maas? God het die heel tyd geweet wat hy doen en hy was steeds in beheer van hulle lewens. En hy het hulle beskerm en veilig gehou elke liewe oomlik van die dag, selfs toe hulle in die woestijn in gegaan het. Ja, imagine if you had to go to another town and imagine those times there was not even a GPS and you didn't know how you're gonna get there. Yes, but crazy. then God was so good that he actually showed up by giving them a cloud during the day and give them a fire column during the night so that they can know where they were going. Yo, wat die Heer het geweet, hulle is bang. So hy het iets vir hulle gegeen om hulle te weis, hy is heel tyd by hulle. En net so maas, wanneer julle bang is en wonder waar is God, kan jy altyd weet, God is by jou, want daar is een awesome Bible vers wat dit precies vir ons sê. Dankie vir die Bijbel, Sia. Ek dink ons moet die vers direct uit die Bijbel uit lees en dan gaan die maats op dit beter verstaan. Is jy recht? Ja. Kom ons lees om. Jesaja 41 vers 10 Moe nie bang wees nie, ek is by jou. Moe nie bekommerd wees nie, ek is jou God. Ek versterk jou, ek help jou, ek hou jou vast. Met my eie hand red ek jou. Wow, that's a beautiful verse. It's a boy, my fast. I think you must do it no more less than I will do the moves. Yo, do you do the moves? Do you? Go see how creative you are. Make your own moves up the way that you fast it is. Yeah. Is it right? Yeah. Okay, I'm going to South Africa. We'll try your best. So you can. Okay, you can do it. Jesaja 41, verse 10. Good work. Do not be afraid. I am with you. Do not be afraid. I am your God. 
Ik versterk jou. Ik help jou. Ik hou jou vast. Met mijn eie hand red ek jou. Goeie werk, Sia! Yeah. Oh, well done! So, maats, elke keer as jylle bang is en wonder, wat is Godse plan met my leven en is hy by my, kan jy hierdie versie gebruik. Want hierdie vers sê, God is by jou, hy versterk jou, hy gee jou kracht en hy red jou. You know what, Zerkia? There's actually a nice song which actually explains this whole verse that oh. the kids can dance to, nice. even though it's in English. Ek denk nie Engels is een probleem nie, maar as jylle verstaan ons allemaal Engels, maar ek denk het gaan ons baie help, want soms vergeet ons die versies, of ons wonder waar staan het in die Bijbel, maar liekie sit in die mense kop vast. Ja. So kom ons sing hierdie liekie lekker saam, wat hierdie versie precies vir ons weer laat leer. Is jylle recht vir dit maand? Staan op en dan sing jylle saam met ons.